few minutes ago, we got the Republican perspective on the testimony on the Hill this morning from David Petraeus. We want to get the viewpoint from the other side of the aisle with Maryland Congressman Dutch Fruppersberger. Sir, it's great to have you with me this morning. And I'd like to start by getting your reaction to General Pet Petraeus' testimony this morning. What did it reveal to you about how much more we know about the investigation of Benghazi? Well, the first thing, I think it was very important for the country, for our intelligence community who, who are looking at this matter, and, and also for General Petraeus to come before us to resolve a lot of questions that have been out there, a lot of allegations, as an example, uh, that he resigned so he wouldn't have to testify on Benghazi. That's not true. And I think by General Petraeus volunteering to come before our committee this morning, it brought closure to a lot of these issues. Uh, you also had the opportunity, I believe, to speak to the general before he actually testified. Can, can you reveal to us what you two spoke about? We just talked. I said, General, I know things are tough for you and your family. Uh, you've done a great job representing our country, uh, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, you know, we appreciated uh, Chairman Rogers and I working with you uh, as the uh, director of the CIA. And uh, we you know, hope that, that whatever happens to you in your future, we know you have to resolve a lot of personal issues. Uh, we, we wish good luck. Then we just talked a little bit about some of the testimony he was going to give uh, before our committee this morning. And that was really the, the conversation. Sir, what, as ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, you were probably privy to information about the FBI investigation before many of your colleagues. Uh, does that kind of drag around through these investigations, these hearings, excuse me, the investigation as a, as a white elephant in the room? Not really, because our focus is on the Benghazi issue. The investigation uh, that started as it relates to General Petraeus uh, started as a criminal investigation involving a, a situation where you had a cyber uh, threat where someone was threatening someone else, uh, and that's how the investigation started. And, and the FBI has investigations all the time. I was a former investigative prosecutor myself. And uh, as these issues evolved, as they started to look to the issue, they then found that General Petraeus had this situation. And that investigation is continuing to go on. What we had to focus on on the intelligence side is that we oversee the intelligence communities, the CIA, the NSA, the FBI. And we had to make sure that there weren't any breaches or any problems as it related to national security. And those are issues that I really can't talk about, and that matter is still being investigated. Congressman, when it comes to resolution on this issue, uh, Senator John McCain uh, has asked for a select committee. What do you think will draw a resolution, a conclusion to this issue? I think we have to let the FBI do their job. They're as good as any investigative agency in the world. Uh, they've done an outstanding job in investigations throughout the, the, the years. Um, I think we have a, a committees who do focus on their areas of expertise. As an example, we in the Intelligence Committee focus on uh, anything having to do with national security and the oversight of our intelligence communities. But you have other groups, Homeland Security. You, you, ha you, you have other groups that might be focused on something that comes out as a result of this. The most important thing is that we let the professionals do the job, we follow the facts, and then we then, as members of Congress, come together and make the decisions uh, on what occurred and how things occurred. If you're talking about the Benghazi issue, it's we had four Americans killed. We have to see whether or not there were intelligence failures. We have to make sure, more importantly, that Americans who work for the State Department or the United States anywhere in the world are protected. And we want to f see, based on the incidents that occurred here, uh, wh what happened, why there were, there were four deaths, and to make sure it doesn't happen again. Sir, so, obviously with the four deaths, there was an intelligence failure, but what Senator John McCain and others that are working with him would like to believe that there is some type of grander cover-up about that intelligence uh, failure. Well, uh, so does this bring resolution to that? First thing, you said there was intelligence failure. I can't agree there was entirely intelligence failure. Uh, the intelligence community did put people in the area of Benghazi and Libya generally, Libya generally, uh, that, that it was a hot spot and it was an area where you had to be on high alert. No, they did not pick up the actual attack itself. So we're evaluating whether or not it was or was not an intelligence failure. And let me, do, let me say this. I have tremendous confidence in my role on the, on the intelligence committee that we have, I believe, the best intelligence in the world. And what makes it good, too, is that all of our agencies now that didn't happen before 9-11 are working together as a team. They're sharing, they're sharing information. Now, the issue of cover-up, let's talk about the facts. Where are their cover-up?
first 24 hours. As it turned out, that was not the case. But the, during this whole period of time, the general said, and the intelligence community said, but that it was a terrorist attack, and there were terrorists involved in the situation all the way through. And uh, so, you know, what we're doing now is following the facts. Uh, Chairman Rogers and I clearly made the point not to subject ourselves to the media until we came back to session and our committee had these hearings so that we would not get caught up in the in the constant media frenzy that's been going on for the last couple of weeks and we have to follow the facts and that's what we're doing right now. Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger, okay. sir, thanks for your time this morning. Sure. I appreciate it.